In this video, we're going to look at how you find a gradient at a certain point when you're given an equation for a graph. So you're going to get given a question something like this. You're going to be asked to find the gradient of a curve and they'll give you an equation at a certain point when x equals 1 here. So when this happens, there's a couple of steps you always need to follow. Now hopefully you remember from the last video that if you ever want to go from a function or an equation down to a gradient, you have to differentiate. And you know that because of the keyword, find the gradient. Now your first step then is going to be to differentiate. So if we take this function of y, the dy by dx, or the derived version of that, is going to be 8x to the power of 3, multiply the power by the coefficient and take 1 away, minus 1, because we've got that 1 in front of the x there. And the next thing we have to know is at what point are we finding the gradient? Because on a big curvy graph, the gradient's always changing. Gradient's just the slope. So therefore we have to know the point. And at this point, it says x equals 1, which is where we want to find the gradient. So what we have to do is we have to substitute in 1 every time we see x. So here we have the same equation, but instead of x, we're going to write 1, because we want to find the gradient when x is 1. Now solving this, we have 1 to the power of 3. That's just 1 if you put it into your calculator. Multiply that by 8 is 8, and take 1 away it gives us 7. So our gradient, when we've differentiated it at x equals 1, is 7. And that's how you find your answer. So just to revise this process, what you need to know is the first step of differentiating. Here we have another equation, and we have a point at x equals negative 2, and they've asked us to find the gradient. So starting with this equation, y equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 5, our first step is always to differentiate, because we're moving from a function to a gradient. So when we differentiate this function, it gives us dy by dx, which is the differentiated version, is 6x, because of 3 times 2, plus 2. And that's our differentiated version. Now, although this is the equation that will tell us the gradient, we haven't found it yet. So what we need to do is at what point? And it tells us that it's the point x equals negative 2. So our second step is to substitute in our known x value. That's negative 2. So wherever we see an x, which is just here, we put in negative 2 and find out what it equals. Once we've done that, you can just plug it into your calculator or solve it in your head if you're good at that. And that's going to give you a final answer of negative 10. So your gradient of this equation at the point x equals negative 2 is negative 10. It's a big downward slope. And that would be your answer for this case. Let's look at one final example. Here, a function is given by f of x equals 2x to the power of 3 minus 10x plus 5. And again, we need to find the gradient of the graph when x equals 2. Again, we're finding a gradient, so let's differentiate to start with. Now, differentiating this function gives us 6x squared minus 10. And remember, we see this little prime when we differentiate in f of x. Next, we have to know the x value where we're trying to find the gradient. So it says x equals 2. So we're going to put that 2 in exactly where we see the x in our equation. That gives us f of x, and here x is actually 2, equals 6 multiplied by 2 squared minus 10. Now if you put that in your calculator, you'll find that f of x, or in this case, f prime of 2, equals 14. So the gradient of this graph, when x equals 2, is 14. And that is how you find a gradient when you're given an equation and a point.